these great journals and we're also adding them to our holiday gift guide and there's a post about them on our blog. These make a great gift for anyone. Journaling is so great. These are Ellie Claire journals and they're absolutely beautiful because they're much more than just a journal. They're an art journal. What do I mean by that? Let's take a look at each one. This is the Illuminate Your Story. You know, I'm really into how something feels in my hand. I like to read books online and on my Kindle and on my iPad, but I also like to hold a good book in my hand. Well, the journal is something I really want to hold in my hand and I really want to put a pen to paper with because I just think, I don't know, there's just something about it. I'm old school about the journal and this Illuminate Your Story journal is so beautiful. So it has an elastic here and then it also has a ribbon where you can mark your place. It's a nice hardcover journal. It's, it's, it's embossed in there with that letter, Illuminate Your Story. And so in this journal, it's going to have a place to put your name. So like I said, this makes a great gift. If you were giving it to someone, you can write an inscription on here if someone's going through a tough time. I've done that when people are going through a tough time. Put a special message in a journal. Since these are art journals, they're going to tell us about the art of illuminating letters. And in the front here, we have a quote from Leo Tolstoy. It says, just as one candle lights another and can light thousands of other candles, so one heart illuminates another heart and can illuminate thousands of other hearts. Leo Tolstoy. And then we have an introduction. The artist hunched over dried and stretched calfskin parchment, dips his animal hair brush into the azurite pigment. He adds two or three delicate dabs a vibrant blue color at the border of the gold leaf. Straightening, he tilts the parchment to catch the oil lamplight and smiles reverently at his work when the illuminated letter comes to life. The day is spent straining over each meticulous detail on an illuminated manuscript or an overflow of his heart and a spiritual act of worship. The term illuminated manuscript is derived from the use of gold or silver leaf decorations within texts, which when caught in the light become illuminated. The artwork included initials, borders, and miniature illustrations and were often done by monks or scribes. The earliest surviving manuscripts date back to late antiquity, perhaps as early as the third century. However, it was medieval Europe that saw the peak of manuscript illumination. Although illuminated manuscripts originated hundreds of years ago, their beauty still inspires artists today. Currently, there is a resurgence of beautifully handwritten and illustrated signs, journals, and notes spreading across the globe using some version of illuminated letters. With this journal, you can explore your own skill and develop images that add beauty to your writings. There are letters inspired by ancient traditions, easy to follow instructions, and blank spaces where you can practice illuminating your own story. We hope you'll soon be able to find pleasure and joy in developing a style that is as unique as you are. And you know, journals are such great gifts because they just provide such a place where we can just put down our deepest thoughts, even if they're dark or if they're joyful or if we're going through a hard time or a great time and we can look back on them in years to come. And I know I had a teacher in high school that had us start journaling and she said, be very honest in your journal because if you are, when you look back on this journal in 15 years, it will be amazing. I've given journals as gifts. It'll be on our holiday gift guide because if someone's going, like I said, through a bad time where they're having something great happen to them, maybe they just graduated from college or, you know, graduate school or, or just had a baby, it's a great time to give them a journal so that they can put down, you know, 
all of the things that are occurring in their life. So we have in here a history of illuminated letters. And I'm not going to go and read this all with you, but just so you see that, there's a nice history right there. And then tells us about the Renaissance and the process of them creating your own and how to use this journal. So this journal has step-by-step -step visual and written instructions to guide you through drawing and creating the alphabet in illuminated letters. It also provides Bible verses or quotes for each letter of the alphabet to practice on. The first step is to always draw the basic letter shape. Do this lightly in pencil. Next, sketch the design and placement of flourishes and other elements. This is shown in red, sometimes with the addition of blue and green if the sketch is more complex. These lines should also be sketched in lightly in pencil, but will be erased in a later step. Once the letter is completely drawn in pencil, go back over the lines with a fine waterproof pen or with India ink and a pointed nib. Then color your letters with colored pencils, markers, or paint. A fine gold paint pen could also be very useful in adding metallic shine to letters and adornments. So there's a, and you see it's very large right there, so it gives you step by step on how to make that beautiful A there. And then you have journal pages before you go to another A. So on the top of the journal, there's I, on these journals pages, there's a quote from Laura Ingalls Wilder. As the years pass, I am coming more and more to understand that it is the common everyday blessings of our common everyday lives, which we should be particularly grateful. Laura Ingalls Wilder. And then there's two pages to write, and then we have another A. Before going to B. So that's going to be... We have B there, and now we have some flourishes. And then we have two more journal pages. And this quote I really like, this is from Alexandra Stoddard. Begin, start right where you are. Consider your possibilities and find inspiration to add more meaning and zest to your life. Alexandra Stoddard. Sometimes we underestimate how short life is and how those ordinary moments are the ones that you usually miss the most. Just like how people that whose children have grown miss the ordinary things with their children. It's not often that they're always thinking about that one great trip they took to Hawaii, but it's just the everyday, how they used to make the lunches and get the kids off to school or read a bedtime story or just the very mundane things that sometimes maybe even during the time they were tired or exasperated on and those are the things that we tend to miss the most so we have to treasure them when we have them and you know there was a woman that lost her husband and just watching TV with him in their recliners and holding hands meant so much to her and it was one of the things it was the ordinary things she said you know in her in her grief that she missed the most it wasn't that trip to Greece. It, it was just those ordinary things. And so, you know, we have to take the time to really appreciate them. Even, you know, sometimes when we were tired and all of that. So here's cast all your anxiety on him, God. Cast all your anxiety on him because God cares for you. And then we have C. And you'll see. And then again... Dear Lord, grant me the grace of wonder. Surprise me, amaze me, awe me in every crevice of your universe. I do not ask, I do not ask to see the reason for it all. I ask only to share the wonder of it all. Abraham Joshua Heschel. Okay, so very, very nice book, a very nice journal. And this is Illuminate Your Story. You'll see it on our blog and we'll also have a link for the journal in the video description. Now let's look at the other journal, the other journals. 
So first we'll look at the Illustrated World. This is another beautiful hardcover journal and it has gold embellishments and it is an embossed cover an illuminated Bible coloring journal. And on the back, this is also by Ellie Claire. These are but you can see more on ellieclaire.com. Just as medieval monks brought scripture to life through intricate handwritten and illustrated manuscripts hundreds of years ago, you can now create your own keepsake to be treasured for years to come. Forty illustrations have been recreated as line drawings to color. Full color illustrations from the archives of the Museum of the Bible make this journal a true masterpiece. So we also have a nice nameplate here and a beautiful page to color. And this is another really nice coloring page. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. And then we have our first journal page and it's a lovely nice thick paper you know i don't know if the video showed before if because i was cut off but i said you know there's some books i just like to read with a book in my hand i also enjoy my kindle or my ipad reading uh, books on there but it will never replace the feeling you get from really holding a book in your hand. And with a journal, I just tend to like real journals better than online journaling. Online journaling is okay to jot some things down, but I just love the feel of a pen on the paper and holding a journal and, you know, just that whole feeling of it and looking back on a journal. So here's another nice journal page, and you'll see that on the journal page, this picture right here is this picture. So you could use that as inspiration or you could color it the way you like. And then there's two more pages and then we have this right here and then be still and know that I am God. So lovely pages to color and journal throughout the book. Okay, and then there, like I said, there's there's quotes here on the bottom. On the bottom here it tells you what this is from. So this is, says, on the bottom here you know what this is from. So it says very fine parchment. Esther scroll without rollers, Israel 2000s. And it just goes so, you know, through the book, but a very nice book, a large book, nice large pages, and that's the illustrated word. Okay, and then lastly we have Faith and Lettering Journal. Also by Ellie Claire. Reignite your devotional time, imprint scripture on your heart, and dig deep into the Word of God through the art of lettering. Hey guys, I had to get a drink of water because I couldn't even speak. My mouth was so dry. Okay. So, expert tips will help you pursue a deeper faith by expressing your God-given creativity. We are God's masterpiece. Ephesians 2.10 Crystal Witter is a graphic designer known for her unique combination of lettering and faith. The author of Faith in Lettering, an inspirational guide to creative lettering and, journal, and journaling, Crystal lives in Florida with her husband and her two children. And this is a nice hardcover, embossed cover, and in the beginning we have presented to and from. It says, what is faith in lettering? I rediscovered my love of hand lettering shortly after a spiritual reawakening in my life. As my appreciation for God's word grew as my appreciation for God's word grew into a deep love of truth, lettering became the way I could meditate on it, a way to make much of him. King David wrote Psalm fifty one fifteen, in which he says, Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. 
my pen become my way of declaring. My pen became my way of declaring the Lord's praise. One day, as I worked online at my computer, I stumbled upon a hand-lettering piece of heart. It was beautifully done, and I was immediately inspired to try the technique myself. My first attempt was Exodus 1414. I remember penciling and erasing, penciling and erasing. The slower process of drawing it and repeating it to myself became a powerful tool for memorization. How exciting that I could do something fun as a means of learning scripture. Hand lettering Bible verses became my outlet. It fed me creatively and spiritually. It wasn't long before I was lettering in my Bible, creating sketch notes during sermons and encouraging others to join me in the practice. And that's how we came to be here today. I tell you my story because I hope it will resonate with you on a spiritual level as well as a creative level. When I rediscovered lettering, I had put away my pens and markers to pursue a career in graphic design. I thought playing with letters was a thing for kids. Did you also enjoy being creative as a kid? Did you fill notebooks with artwork and present them to your parents? Did you doodle on your class notes? Maybe you picked up this journal because you love expressing your creativity. Or perhaps instead you picked up this journal because you yearn to be creative. Maybe you often tell people, oh, I'm not creative, but I wish I was. Let me tell you something, friend. You are a child of God. You were made in his image, and guess what? Our God is a creative God. He is the creator, the ultimate maker. So there is creativity in your DNA that you cannot deny. This journal will teach you that lettering is a powerful tool to grow your faith. How to use this book. There are many ways to incorporate hand lettering into your life, spiritually and practically. And practically. The purpose of this journal is to inspire you to re the purpose of this journal is to inspire you to reignite your devotional time, to imprint scripture upon your heart, and to help you dig deep into the Word of God through the art of lettering. The faith and lettering journal is designed to be a safe place to practice prompts. Try your hand at different styles and grow in your lettering skills. You'll practice the basics of hand lettering, Bible journaling, sermon sketch note taking, and have space to write about how those techniques are deepening your walk with God. Something special happens when you slow down and take time to focus on scripture in a creative way. God's word does not return void. And anytime you're diligent about saturating your heart with Bible truth, our creative God will use it. Let's rediscover our creative sides, our penchant for doodling. Let's letter for the Lord together. And then we have beautiful full color pages. Give thanks in all circum give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And we have beautiful large pages for journaling, and then as we turn we see scripture here so it says begin here and then trace your turn practice 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 so i will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh ezekiel 36 26. so you can do that and then there's some practicing of letters right here and then we have another full page beautiful piece of art he will cover you with his feathers and shelter you with his wings Psalm 91 4 you have a journaling page and then you have two pages you know to do whatever you want in your lettering art so it says let your light let so it says let your light so here you can do whatever you want right here. And it says let your light shine. So you can be creative and it's kind of like a very light graph paper. And then we have this, Forgiveness Matters. The Lord is near the brokenhearted. Psalm 34, 
18. And then we have another page like that, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. So you begin here, you trace your turn, practice, practice, practice. And then again, we have a pro tip on lettering and that's, you know, the shape of the book. You are God's masterpiece. I praise you. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God and his righteousness. Seek first the kingdom, God and his righteousness. And then some more lettering. Every good, perfect gift is from above. James 117. Whatever you ask in my name, I will do it. Journaling pages. Your hands made me and fashioned me. Our great high priest always lives to make intercession for us. Hebrews 7.25. And then again, more pro tips about letters, more of these graph pages. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Abide in me and bear much fruit. And then we have these beautiful designs and those so just great things here with my whole heart I seek you joyful in hope patient in affliction faithful in prayer Romans 12 12 so Give thanks to the Lord. This is going to make our holiday gift guide. I think it's a great journal. It's a very creative journal. Maybe you have somebody that you know that this would be perfect for. I will put links to where you can find these journals to learn more about them. But again, let's just go through. We have Faith and Lettering Journal. We have the Illustrated Word Journal. And we have the Illuminate Your Story Journal. Oh, and I want to show you something with the Illuminated illuminate your story journal in the back of this journal well, that your ribbon is attached but you have this keepsakes pocket where you can put things it's a little file pocket so you can put things right there it's very nice and again Ellie Claire, EllieClaire.com inspired, inspired by life. So let me know what you think of these journals. Let me know if you know someone they'd be perfect for. And you know, if you're thinking of purchasing them, let me know. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great one.